now take a look at the longtime relationship between Purdue University and man's oldest living friend, the cockroach. Wait, wait, put, put, put the remote down, please. I think you'll find the following most enlightening, bordering on intriguing. You would think man would have a deep respect and admiration for cockroaches instead of intense revulsion and a desire to wipe them off the planet. First of all, they've been on this planet an estimated 350 million years, changing very little through the eons, and we're around to welcome our original ancestors when they lumbered onto the planet a mere 5 to 10 million years ago. And the cockroaches embraced our culture in every way, going where man goes, living where man lives, eating what man eats, every day, every year, and every season without consideration of race, color, or creed. But do we appreciate it? These guys love our food. So uh, they get in our kitchens and in our restaurants and are just terrible problems. Professor Gary Bennett of Purdue's entomology department and son of a pest exterminator has spent much of his 20 year plus academic career studying roaches with an eye towards ridding them from our midst. Indeed, Purdue's entomology department has been probing the cockroaches' psyche, physique, social and mating habits, and philosophy of life since the 30s to help the agriculture and pesticide industries come up with the poisons and traps to keep them at bay. And while this chemical warfare can produce high body counts, not for nothing have roaches been around 350 million years, with the prospect of being around 350 million more. They're very adaptable. These guys here reproduce so fast and have such short life cycles that they can, can develop resistance very quickly. So within a couple of months, an adult cockroach can lay six or eight egg capsules, and each one of those egg capsules will have 40 to 50 young inside. So one female German cockroach can be responsible for producing 400,000 roaches in a year, all looking for something to eat and someplace to live. The small German cockroach is the most common, and the ones who make themselves in our home. The larger American roach is depicted in what is believed to be the first cockroach movie musical, Joe's Apartment, prefer institutional living like schools and hospitals because of their affection for steam tunnels and they are built for speed, which is why they compete and produce roach races at the state fair. Actually, uh, the American cockroach is the fastest land animal if you count the speed being the number of repeats of their body lengths over a distance. The German roaches have an absolute picnic in older substandard homes and apartments traveling throughout the premises through their network of water pipes, lamp and light fixtures, every conceivable crack and crevice including cable television hookups, operating at night and dining on any food crumb and water droplets available on the counters and floors, making them the bane of restaurants and homemakers everywhere. Whenever you're doing cockroach control, you need to do it for the entire building and not just on a room by room basis or an apartment by apartment basis. But is this really necessary? Okay, roaches are the least photogenic members of the insect world, but they're usually only out and about when we're asleep, so we don't have to look at them. It's not as if they're carrying off our pets into the night or nibbling on our jugular vein as we slumber or are making long distance calls on our phones. They don't really bite, spit, or swear, so how bad can they be? They also carry filth organisms, salmonella, those kinds of things that they'll deposit on food as they come in contact with it, eat it, defecate on it, and just create contamination problems. Indeed, former Purdue professor and anti-roach crusader Dr. Austin Frischman in his 1980 book, The Cockroach Combat Manual, pins the rap on cockroaches for spreading the following ailments, including bubonic plague for crying out loud, as if there wasn't plenty of blame to go around. But there must be something good to say about a creature who's made a go of it on this dicey planet for 350 million years. As a group of animals, and there are 3,000 species, are very important in, in terms of recycling nutrients in nature. They are scavengers, they feed on dead plant and animal material, so they play a very important ecological role. In other words, a bug for the 90s, and one that does have supporters willing to show their appreciation to the roach, such as the Cockroach Hall of Fame in Plano, Texas, the annual July 4th Roach Races in Roachdale, Indiana, the fabled literary cockroach Archie, who came out at night and pounded out tales of his life and hard times with his friend Mahidabel and writer Don Marquis's typewriter, and the aforementioned 1996 musical epic Joe's Apartment, featuring cockroaches in the chorus. I'm sure you are as baffled as I am, Joe's apartment did not receive the critical and box office acclaim it so richly deserved. Perhaps there should have been more cameos from the other species of cockroach that Professor Bennett and Tom Turpin keep on hand in their Purdue labs, some big enough to saddle up and ride. 
like the winged giganteus cockroach or the Madagascar hissing roach, used in Purdue tractor pole competitions, basically show and tell outdoor roaches that professors take around to schools to enlighten the students and gross out their teachers. But it's the German and American roaches by way of Africa via ship who have commanded their grudging respect and that of their families. Of course, they keep me employed, so that one benefit that I can see, almost any new technology that we throw at them, they can adapt to it. That's why they've been with us so long, and that's why they're going to be with us for a long, as long as we're around. And beyond. See, that wasn't so bad. Uh, hello, are, are you still out there? Oh well, thanks again for joining us on the Reed Duffy Chronicles, and hope to see you next time. We'll keep you posted. Good night, everyone.